from Luca, my name is Robert Norman, and I will be teaching you guys how to make a basic data flow network using Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay, so before we begin, I'm going to give a brief description of what a peer-to-peer -peer network is. So basically, in peer-to-peer -peer network, all the computers can directly communicate with each other without requiring a server. A server is not needed. Okay, so to start, uh, okay, and um, I'm going to be making a peer-to-peer -peer network of around 10 to 15 computers. Okay, so let's start building our network. Okay, so to make a network of around 10 to 15 computers, I'm going to first need 10 to 15 computing devices. So I'm going to come over here to the option of end devices, right over here, and then I'm going to come towards PC and I'm going to drag and drop a few of them out here. Okay, I'll get a lot of the PCs. And these can be in any arrangement. So I'm going to just place them randomly. Okay, so I'm also going to take a few laptops since they function the same as PCs. We'll just keep on placing them till we're sure we have around 15 or something. And then I'll one, two, three, four. So I have around 14 of these devices. I'm also going to place uh, 15 one over here. And here we go. Okay, so here we have 15 computing devices which we are going to connect together so that they can communicate with each other directly without any other server and it will be our peer-to-peer -peer network. Okay, so now to connect all of this together, I am actually going to need a switch. So for that, I'm going to come over here to network devices and then over here, there's an option of switches. I'll come here and select the first one, drag and drop it to the center because it's easy for me to connect all of these computers to this switch. Okay, so now I'm going to connect all these computers to the switch by using a copper cable. Now, the reason I'm using the straight one and not this one with the gap because these are different type of things. These are different type of computing devices, which is why I'm going to use a straight one. Now, the connecting them is actually simple. I just have to press ether fast ether zero and connect it to switch and then select a port over here. And over here, I have around 1 to 24 ports for fast ethernet. So I'll just select first for this one and I'll do the same for the rest. I'm actually going to fast forward this part so it's not that long of a video. So here our network is created, but it still will, but all the computers will still not be able to communicate with each other because I have not assigned any IP address to any of these computers. Now assigning an IP address is needed because otherwise, of course, without this IP address, they cannot communicate with each other. So to assign an IP address is actually really simple. I'm going to left click on the laptop or any PC, and then I'm going to come here to desktop and go towards IP configuration. And then I'll give it any IP address. I'm gonna for this one I'll give it 192.58.32 and then I'll name it, give it 0 0.1. Now I did this one and I'll give the rest one and I'll give the other one same IP address, but I'll just change this last one. Like for example, for this one I give one, for the other I'll give two and three and so on till 15. Okay, so now after giving this IP address, the subnet mask will be given to it automatically by just pressing enter. Now there we go, we have assigned the first IP, we have assigned IP address to our first computer. Now I'm also going to write the IP address over here. So it's a bit more easy for us to use the IP address of this specific computer. Actually, let me check if I entered the right one. It's actually 32 over here. Now I'm going to do the same for the rest of it for the rest of the computers and I'm going to fast forward it so that you don't have to go through the long process of watching me do that.
I'm actually just copy pasting the IP address of the previous one and just changing the last digit. Okay, so now that I'm done with giving the IP addresses to all 15 of my computers, the network has been successfully established and this should be working. Now to check if this is working, we are actually going to ping a computer to another. For example, if I take this laptop, it's my PC number 10, or my laptop number 10, okay? Uh, the device, the 10th device of my network. Now to check if this is actually working, or if this can actually communicate with all 14 other computers, we're gonna go to, we can actually click, we can left click on this laptop, then we'll go to command prompt, and then we'll press the code ping, and then we'll write the IP address to which we want to check if this is working. Now, this is my PC number 10, so I'm gonna, so I'm just gonna randomly check it with PC number one and 15 and five to see if this is actually working or not. So I'm gonna write ping, then I'll write the IP address of the computer to which I want to check if this is connected and if it is communicating with that computer or no. So the IP address of my first computer actually is 192.58.32.1. If I press enter, now this shows that my connection has been established and this is working. I'll do the same for a few others just to be sure if this is connected with all of them. Now I'll check the last one, the 15th computer, like 58.32.15, and this is also working. Then I'll check it with, uh, let's say, 7th, write the command ping, IP address of that 7th computer, 7. this is also working out now i'm also going to check a few other computers whether they are also communicating with the rest so let's see for example if i just take this fourth computer now i want to see if this fourth computer is actually able to communicate with the rest 14 or no so i'll just randomly ping this com this computer with other computers on this network so let's say i just write ping command and point 192.58.32 since this is same for everyone then I'll sup let's suppose I'll take the 13th computer and I press enter and this is also communicating with uh, the 13th computer now for example I take uh, I ping the second computer with this just to see if this is communicating with it 192.58.32.2 And this is also working which means that our network has been successfully established and this PC is able to communicate with the rest I mean like all of the other all of the PCs are actually able to communicate with each other since we have tested a few of them so most probably the others are also working fine so this was the tutorial of how to make a basic peer-to-peer -peer network using Cisco packet tracer hope you understood if you have any questions let me know in the comments below